of the park's attendants who are humbly standing up the back. And the chair of that committee is the, uh, the field services chair, Vicky Howard, Councillor Vicky Howard. I'd like to invite Vicky to say a few words, please. James, and can I begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians and paying my respects to elders past, present and emerging. And can I thank each and every one of you for being here today. Can I acknowledge our wonderful Lord Mayor and thank him for his uh, wonderful words that we've just heard. Uh, to the federal member, Julian Simmons, and to Mr Michael Bergman for the member for Maywa. And all of the lovely other people. George, that was fantastic. Thank you for your words. I know that there are a lot of service women that are here uh, this afternoon and uh, my role for this afternoon's ceremony is to talk about the Grove of Honour that we are about to do here. So please uh, forgive me because I do want to refer to my notes because there's some fantastic, uh, so there's some, some fantastic words here. So Anzac Park is the ninth and the final avenue of honour to be dedicated in Brisbane. And along with the flame trees that were dedicated earlier by Lord Mayor Adrian Trimmer, These trees will bloom with white flowers around November each year and the white flowers will represent the white pinafore aprons worn by the nurses. Each of these women honoured has a personal connection to Brisbane through birth, undergoing nursing training, enlisting for worse war service or passing away in Brisbane. And during World War I, these Australian nurses served in the Australian Army Service, the Queen Alexandra Imperial Military Nursing Service and the Voluntary Aid Detachment. This grove is a living legacy for those nine nurses and to honour all women who have dedicated their lives to caring for servicemen during times of conflict. I think it was very important to read those words because I think that we sometimes don't remember the contribution that women made to all wars that, that we've experienced. And, and George, um, your words really bring home to us the fact of how important ceremonies such as this are. Um, I'd also like to thank the wonderful officers that, uh, that I'm representing here today, and I see many of you there. Uh, and I know how much these um, roads mean to you as well. I know how much energy and effort that you put into making these, um, these parks as beautiful as they are. And I'd also like to thank Councillor Mackay because uh, he um, lobbied me very heavily about the tree that was the eucalypt that we planted that uh, he went to Canberra to collect and you know we were going we're not sure that this is the right species we're not sure but as George has said it's the it's the symbol of that tree that means so much to everyone so I know that uh, my fabulous team will do everything they can to keep it as beautiful as it is today um, I really thank every each and every one of you for being here this afternoon for allowing me to be part of this fabulous service and I'd never